The Egyptian Book of the Dead was meant to function, to put it in a modern sense, as basically a how-to manual intended to guide the deceased through the underworld so they could successfully embrace eternal life after death. They contained magical spells and instructions on how to journey successfully through obstacles in the underworld. And not to the surprise of many, these books of the dead were primarily an elitist phenomenon, as many things were in Egypt and elsewhere, as they were produced to order on papyrus, which was really expensive and could cost half a year's pay for a common worker. When I am late to rest. The image shown is an example of an Egyptian book of the dead titled Last Judgment of Hunifer. There are many references in this image that shows quite clearly its purpose. One of the more subtle ones is the little object Osiris and Horus are holding. This is called an Ankh and was a prominent symbol for internal life, which clearly reflects the Egyptian Book of the Dead's function as a guide to obtain eternal life. Another reference, a rather hopeful reference, is how you can see the heart being lighter than the feather, which means the lucky Hunifer has obtained his afterlife which obviously an instruction manual on how to attain eternal life would portray. Would portray. Just knowing the background of the story and Egyptian afterlife beliefs, we can quite easily tell that this is a narrative. In fact, this specific method of visual narrative is called continuous narrative because you can see the figure of Hunifer appearing multiple times throughout the single artwork to represent multiple scenes of the overall story. And you can tell for sure that this is a narrative because you can see Hunifer first being guided by Anubis to be judged, Hunifer passing judgment indicated by um, the heart being lighter than the feather, and finally Hunifer being presented to Osiris. So logically, um, we know that this can't all happen at once, and also Hunifer appears twice, so he can't be in two places at once, so just by going with that, we know that it has to be a narrative. <laughs>